Uh, it was a good night for uh, me and my team. We uh, we jumped out there early. We got a few runs on the board and in, uh, in the middle innings, just uh, put a, put some good ABs together and wound up blowing that thing up in there. And I think the sixth or seventh. So uh, it was a good game that night. But uh, like Coach said, they're a totally different team than they were. I'm sure uh, having to go to Florida and then having to go to Texas and then to come in here, they were, I'm sure they were tired. And uh, so we, we need to be ready tomorrow to uh, just come out and play a clean game of baseball. And this week in practice, do you kind of think that you guys were kind of able to wash out the bad taste in your mouth from the SEC tournament and really uh, take a good page and, and kind of shift the momentum y'all's way heading into the weekend? Yeah, I think so. We uh, we had a great week of practice. Uh, when we got back from Hoover, I guess it was uh, Friday or whenever it was, we flushed that and uh, we just started thinking about this week and what we needed to do to uh, – prepare ourselves to play good baseball. And that's what we've done this week, I think. Um, uh, we've had a great week of practice, and hopefully it uh, carries over into the weekend. Steve, go ahead and hop in there. Look, you've been a Mississippi State guy your whole life. I mean, this is a chance. You've got a prominent role in this team, a chance to play in a, in a regional. What was it like kind of growing up, coming to regionals here and watching Mississippi State play, and now all of a sudden you're one of those guys that people are tuning in to watch? Oh, it's great. Um, being able to come to regionals as a kid, only living a uh, few minutes down the road, it uh, means a lot to me and my family for me to be able to, uh, to put this jersey on every day and uh, just go out there and play the game that I love. And to be able to play the game that I love at, uh, here at Mississippi State, it, it means a lot to me and my family. So uh, we're all looking forward to it. And kind of following up on that, too, I mean, what's it like going back to Houston now? I mean, I mean, do people look at you a little bit differently? I know when you were a Hilltopper, people were all excited about the things you did there. But now you're Mississippi State Bulldog, and uh, you're on the big stage now. So do people look at you and treat you any differently back in your hometown? Oh, no, sir. It's always, uh, it's always been the same. Great people in Houston, and uh, I love everybody there, and I love going back home. But, and, uh, but no, this, it's been the same since I've been here. We'll go to Joel, and then we'll go to David. Joel, go ahead. Luke was asking Coach about this a minute ago, so you may have heard me, but Landon, we, we get to see him run out to the mound in the late innings of games, and we get to see that intensity and uh, all that he brings to the field. Does he ever turn it off? What, what's Landon Sims like off the field with you guys? Does he, he goof off a little bit, or is he always Mr. Intense? Oh, yeah, he turns it off uh, sometimes, not all the time. He, uh, Whenever we're hanging out, doing whatever, um, He's uh, he's actually really chill whenever we're just hanging out. But uh, uh, whenever he gets on the field, it's just a total, he's a totally different animal. He uh, he just goes out there and competes like nobody I've ever seen before. And I've said this a million times this year. I'm just glad he's on my team and I don't have to hit against him. You mentioned it. I'm sure you've hit against him before in the fall or in, in scrimmages or whatnot. What's that like to stand in the batter's box against what he brings? Uh, well, it didn't go good for me. I know that. But uh, it's it's just a different – different fastball, different slider from him. And uh, and whenever he has that mindset that he's getting you out, he's going to get you out no matter what. So uh, it's tough. David, go ahead. You know, one of the great advantages of Duden Hill Field is having a big crowd, but also some years that can almost be a disadvantage because some players, especially young ones, get too amped up and try too hard. How do you veterans tell guys, relax, just play your game? Uh, we just um, we just talked to them, all the freshmen and all the uh, underclassmen that really haven't ex been able to experience this yet, which in my freshman year in 19, I didn't get to uh, play, but I got to experience the whole thing. And uh, I think it, not even playing, it still helped me grow as a player just to be able to experience that, to watch other people, watch the uh, upperclassmen, see what they do, how they carry their business and uh, what we needed to do to prepare. I think uh, now that I've gotten older, I've, I hope I've been able to uh, help the underclassmen in any way I can. And uh, But, yeah, just trying to help them out as much as we can. Jay Walker, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Jay Walker with ESPN. A uh, couple questions. Uh, first one, leading up to what you just said, uh, what do you expect to see from Will? Uh, what will your message be to Will with this big stage he's going to pitch on? Uh, what will you tell him from a catcher to pitcher perspective? Uh, I don't think I have to tell him anything. He uh, he goes out there and competes just like Landon does. Um, uh, they're two of the best pitchers in the country, and they're both uh, they both really compete. Will's competed for us all year. He's been great for us all year, and uh, I know he's going to be great for us again tomorrow. Where is Houston, Mississippi? 
Um, it's a small town. It's about 30 minutes north north of here. Um, uh, straight down Highway 389. I'm sure you don't know where that is, but it's absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is there to do in Houston, Mississippi? What do you do for fun? Tell me about your town. Uh, there's nothing to do at all. It's uh, we got a little nine hole golf course. That's about it. And uh, a bunch of people go sit at the Sonic at night and just sit there and talk. All right. Thank you. Looks like we have no more hands raised for Luke.